from her usual burden, she travels far and deep. Deep into a gloomy place that no one could reach with sanity. Known by many names, but called only by the cold, silent wind, she carries what once was pure. A gift that was not hers to give, a tear that was never shed. He is given a new womb. He was used to the taste of desolation, but carried by those coarse hands, he feels, for the first time, absolute despair. soul that no Capulata should ever dare to touch. Reckless and with no concern for consequences, her dark magic devours the spirit once so full of life. In the wake of a flawless ritual, Aedy is reborn lifeless. Though in deep agony, for the first time, he feels what is to hold a purpose in his life. One that he embraces as the only way to keep the memory of his mother. By sharing his endless pain with others through the piercing of each needle. Physical incarceration means very little once you are a captive of your own mind. The moon lights the trail just enough so he can see more despair to find more ways to feel alone, discovering more ways to be forgotten, trapped with no way out. But then one night, an old friend came to visit, bringing a gift he didn't think he deserved. The evil arises persistently with each dawn. A heavy stare casts a shadow over his family. In the adagio of their heartbeat, his guilty hunger is fed voraciously consuming all life around him. The creature must vanish before sunrise. Incapable of looking back, he follows a path that leads him deeper and deeper into the darkness. His loved ones no longer hold strength to pull him back. They watch as he fades into the void, hoping for a permanent farewell.
after many moons, father finally comes home. Buried so deep in his feelings that he can no longer recognize his own reflection. Stuck deep in the maze of his own life and unable to see what is not yet lost, he glimpses the two souls beyond him, but fails to find any bond or affection. At last, this man realizes his soul is already been taken. He poisons himself. Numbness is the only way to bear his burden. Sip after sip, his humanity fades into the void until the pain is no longer felt, leaving only room for anger and bitterness. Nights go by until he becomes a stranger to sanity. Breathe. Keep breathing. We can no longer endure being suffocated by this darkness. Pack and get dressed before all hell breaks loose. The moon trail won't lead us astray. Today we escape. We escape. The evil wakes from his shallow slumber, and mother is cornered, forced to hear the devil song one more time. The beast's rage creepingly increases as the furnishings are shattered in pieces, creating a melodic crescendo of this opera of destruction. Shards now decorate the floor, a broken memory of what was once an untainted sacred haven. Powerless, the boy waits for the end of the show with a thin hope that it was all a meaningless projection in dreamland. Unlike the marks imprinted on mother's flesh, this suffering the boy carries on his soul will never fade. Perpetuated to eternity, he feels each act of violence like a needle piercing his skin. A pain that will remind him for eternity that he is the creator of this demon. The evil finally hauls his defenseless victims into his darkness. A fight is useless, as nothing can stop such a dark creature. The boy follows, watching powerless, the theater of the demon, waiting to collect once again the broken pieces after the show. Confined in a metal cage, the boy and his mother feel completely powerless, incapable of preventing the creature from fulfilling the inevitable destiny. They see themselves on a dark road to nowhere. Violently, the raindrops explode against the metal, as if they are trying to destroy it in a useless attempt to free those souls. A peal of thunder tears the sound of silence as the fierce metallic beast becomes one with the concrete. Shiny shards fly like confetti, celebrating the end of this demonic parade. An unstoppable force of nature that finally finds its destiny. The light struggles to shine from the top of a pole, resisting so it can display this morbid canvas painted in red in its full splendor. Their cage is finally destroyed, and when all is said and done, they are finally free from their captor. The rule of silence 
is finally restored in absolute. The boy feels a sudden burst of energy that flows through his body, giving him a sense of rest, easing his mind. He is welcomed by a divine creature that floats in the air, admiring this masterpiece. Enticed by this radiation of positivity, he floats towards the celestial, believing his doubts will be put to rest. Upon seeing this intriguing being more closely, the boy feels a strange sense of being acquainted before his first breath took place. His pale white hand wide opens as a sacred invitation to the unknown. Such a gesture was never presented to this young boy. Confounded, he hesitates at the offer. Deflected by a subtle noise arising from the metal cage, the boy turns just in time to hear his mother's last whisper. The calm and peaceful, however, unintelligible sound, making him understand with certainty that fate is taking her towards a divergent path. Incapable of breaking this birth and death bond, he denies a sacred fate. A celebration of new life stamps the beginning of a new era. Those near and dear gather to witness this pact with destiny, an unexpected new reality to double their joy. Gifted by the gods with this new path, they plan and prepare. A nest of happiness and security surrounds them as joy grows within. A frame slowly being painted with love, allowing them to contemplate a glimpse of their future life. A messenger from beyond arrives with a dreadful gospel. Destiny is not always compelled to honor his vow. Withdrawing the gift not yet given with no mercy to comfort the sorrowful. No solutions, no answers, but a well of despair. The new pact requires an burdensome choice, an impossibility for the father, but a wretched certainty for the mother. As a sigil is unshakable engraved, the new pact becomes sacred. Bewitched by an uncontrollable rage, he challenges the deeds agreed by the mother. This pact is violently torn apart, matching the shreds of his heart. However, no confrontation with fate can alter its course. No soul can prevail against destined fates. Neither gods nor destiny will be swayed. This burden is now carved into his soul, forever imprisoning all of his benevolence left. The mother was granted a light, a beautiful gift, twisted by its price. A payment which will be heavily paid by them all. <laughs>